In springtime, the island of Sodor gleams in the sun, and every station is filled with flowers. Percy had been working at the docks all day, and was tired of the smell of fish. Whew! Come on, Percy. Time to go home. Can't I get a washdown first? Sorry, Percy. There isn't time for a washdown. Sir Topham Hatt is meeting us at the sheds. There is to be a festival of flowers, said Sir Topham Hatt. This sign, saying Best Dress Station, will be awarded to the winner. Please help with the arrangements. The engines were excited. My favorite station is Farquhar, said Thomas. Mine's Maithwaite, said Toby. Percy, what's yours? Percy was too tired to think properly. The ducks, he murmured. Huh, sniffed Thomas. We can tell. Toby laughed. Oh, the docks are full of fish, not flowers. All right, then. Arlsdale N. That's my home, said Toby. That's why I like it, especially when you're there and not here telling me that I'm silly. Good night. The next morning, Percy was proud to be sparkling again. His trucks were being filled with vegetables and flowers. These are from Maithway. They'll display them on the platform. On their way, they saw Harold. Why is Harold buzzing about? I haven't the time for a race today. What's that? Why, bless me, it's a ram. Now we'll be late. I should have known that Harold was trying to tell us something. I know just what we need. Food. Percy's driver found some cabbage leaves, and the ram chomped happily away. Please, can we go now? When Percy got to the station, his driver explained what happened to the station master. I've heard about this ram. He's always hungry. A little while later, the station was decked with flowers. Maithwaite will definitely win first prize. Percy left his coaches at the platform and went into a siding where no one could see him. Ooh, time for a snooze. But it wasn't. We'd better see what all that noise is about. Percy was shocked. Flowers were scattered everywhere. It's that ram. He's made a meal of the station. There was more trouble, too. We can't get into the waiting room. Why not? Because the ram won't let us. Everyone looked at the ram, and the ram looked at them. He's not alone, either. Let us out. We're sorry. Well, would you look at that? The boys are the culprit, not the ram. He was just making sure they did no more damage. We thought it would be fun, but it wasn't. We'll put everything back. A few days later, Sir Topham Hatt invited some of the engines to Maithwaite winner of the Best Dress Station Award. I'm sorry, Toby. You made the right choice. Then Sir Topham Hatt made another announcement. There is one more prize for our good friend the Ram. Here it is, and I'll eat my hat if you don't like it. Suddenly, Harold landed nearby. The wind from his blades blew Sir Topham Hatt's hat off. Uh, 
Well, I wouldn't have the chance to eat my hat even if I had to. Everyone laughed, and the only sound from the ram was a content hiccup.